Good afternoon, morning, or evening, or whenever you're watching this. My name is Nathan. I sometimes will talk about basketball five or six times a week. I'm around with other things I talk about on this channel. Uh, before we start, make sure to hit that big like up, that big like up, that big thumbs up like button, and hit that big sexy subscribe button. Doesn't cost you a dime, but get, lets you know when I'm posting content. Um, it just broke about an hour ago that Doc Rivers is the new coach of the Philadelphia 76ers. Uh, essentially, it, I, I find this move kind of funny. Yes, Doc Rivers is a good coach. He's won a title, 2008 Boston Celtics. He's, according to ESPN, the 11th coach, the 9th or 11th most winningest coach in the NBA history. Which sounds weird, but he has coached a long time. He coached the Celtics. He also coached the Orlando Magic as well as the Clippers. Um, he's still getting paid from the Clippers. Apparently he had another two years left on his deal and was going to pay him out. They paid him up before he contracted with the 76ers. So that was done. And he signed a five-year deal with the 76ers. Now, there's a problem with signing a coach who just blew a 3-1 to one lead in the playoffs with the Clippers. The very talented team with Paul George and Kawhi. Uh, you only wait a week and you, you you hire him. And you sign him to a five-year deal. He's 58. He does. He is a good coach. Don't get me wrong. He's won a title. He's really helped the Clippers out quite a bit in his past six years there. Uh, there was one year he won 48 games, I believe, without Blake Griffin. So he has coached some good teams, and he is a good coach. The only thing is, were they so desperate to hire him that as soon as they got let go, they went, I'm going to run out and I'm going to hire this guy no matter if he fits into our system or not. Uh, the 76ers have a lot of issues right now. They're looking at maybe moving Embiid, maybe moving Simmons after they lost in the playoffs to the Celtics after blowing it up for years and years and years. Are they going, is Doc Rivers really the best fit there? Um, I'm going to analogize it to the hottest, this, the 76ers acting like the hottest girl I'm trying to search for how I want to word the analogy I'm trying to use here. Uh, I grew up in a small town. It's about 500 people, so there aren't a lot of attractive women. Essentially, what the 76ers did was they treated Doc Rivers after the hottest girl in the small town broke up with her boyfriend, and everyone's running out the day that they break up, buying her flowers, buying her chocolates, to try to woo this hot girl to be their next swing. So, small town, high school, hot girl. I just can't believe I just compared Doc Rivers to being a hot girl. Uh, I think it's a decent move. I mean, the Sixers need the coach. They are uh, also interviewing Tyron Liu. It came out, and Mike D'Antoni are still on the open coach market. Uh, it brings up an issue with NBA coaches in general, is you kind of get a recycle coach mentality. Yes, Doc Rivers is a good coach, but why are you hiring a guy who's lost multiple series when he's up 3-1? Yes, the Sif 76ers could have won this today, and it was a rush job. But couldn't you go out and give maybe your G League coach a chance? Maybe give a college coach a chance? Maybe give go coaching overseas a chance? Maybe get some fresh blood? Yes, with Dr. Rivers, you know what you're getting, so he's a proven commodity, or at least somewhat proven. But it brings that thing of recycling coaches. We see this in basketball all the time. Uh, we see this in all sports. Uh, the idea that Doc Rivers would be interviewed and shot after a week after getting fired, uh, losing his job, and then getting another one that quickly to another playoff team, I find a little weird. That's my two cents on the whole idea. I hope the 76ers are going to do well with their new coach. Maybe they will. Uh, I hope they don't regret this in, say, three seasons when they still haven't been able to make it past the second round of the playoffs. They haven't made a finals appearance, still haven't made a finals appearance in like three years. Do they fire Doc Rivers? Do they trade Ben Simmons? Do they let go of Joel Embiid? Uh, in the comments down below, let me know what you guys think. Make sure to hit that sexy subscribe button, that big bell, and um, hit like and subscribe. And you can also comment on this video. Have a wonderful, great rest of your day, and hope to all chat with you again soon. Goodbye.